Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, therefore I apologise in advance if I stumble over my words going forwards, and indeed if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well. If there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it can't be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2021 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video too. Moments ago, I was just about to start typing up the blog post, link in the descriptions as always to that, the blog post for the United Kingdom's entry, which was released earlier today, entitled Embers by James Newman, pretty good stuff, and I've filmed the video already and that's been uploaded, but now another country has entered the mix, North Macedonia, so from a country that's won five times to a country that's never won. Now, North Macedonia, I have some inf information in front of me to make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, they debuted in 1998 in the Birmingham contest, the last time the UK hosted. Nine out of 19 finals so far. Last Macedonian language entry was in 2016. It's fair to say form over the past decade has been a little bit rusty. No final between 2008 and 2011, and then no final again between 2013 and 2018. But Tamara Tadevska, back after her entry, which didn't qualify, along with two other individuals in 2008, she was back with Proud, this big, big, powerful ballad, and it finished seventh in the grand final. Nobody really saw it coming. But you couldn't really fault the performance or indeed the vocals. It was a very touching song indeed. It was beautifully staged. And it was the jury winner. Except at the time, because of a voting mishap, it didn't come across that way. But it was the jury winner. And I have to say I like the song a lot more than I did at the time. Had last year's contest gone ahead, it would have been Vasil with You, which was a pretty decent pop number. The music video saw two people dancing in a bar. It wasn't bad, but I don't think many people expected it to qualify. Anyway, he's back with Here I Stand. Now, Vasil is 36. He's from a place called Strumitsa. Uh, he started singing when he was very young indeed, something of a child prodigy. He spent time in the US. Uh, he performed with members of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. He's performed backing vocals with people like Julie Andrews and Celine Dion. So he's very, very experienced. And he's released a whole bunch of singles. And his entry, as I just mentioned, for 2021 is called Here I Stand. North Macedonia in the first semi-final of this year's contest, which is scheduled to take place on the 18th of May. So let's give it a listen. The music video was uploaded to the official Eurovision YouTube channel only about five minutes ago. Just over 2,200 views, a lot more likes than dislikes. Uh, there was a teaser released the other day, and it seemed like a ballad. Here we go. Oh, he's talking. Okay, talking about how his dreams were gone with last year's contest cancellation. His teeth are exceptionally white. Just seems like a really nice man, Vasil. We wish him well. Let's give it a listen. Okay, it's starting off a bit like a Disney ballad. Grand piano. Ooh. Great voice. Black suit. Orchestra. I'm already getting the feeling that this will do very well with the juries. Again, very well. It's a bit dramatic, but not over the top at this moment. I wonder what building this is.
belting it out. Very different from his entry last year. Very nice. Ooh. What a voice. It's becoming grander now. It's quite uplifting, powerful. He's singing the hell out of this. I'm just... I know it's a ballad, and it's very nice so far. I'm just getting the sense that there's nothing that's going to truly pop from this particular entry uh, to really make it stand out from the field. But this is solid stuff so far. What a shame you can't have the orchestra at the contest. He looks very emotional. Yeah, it's a big ballad. Can't fault the voice. It's very hopeful. Oh yeah. Sing it. Sing it. Big note at the end. Oh. Fair play. Well that was not too bad at all, if you ask me. Where am I going to rank it based on that first listen? Unfortunately, I think it will be towards the bottom, but really not a bad song whatsoever. I think it's probably going to be about my number 26 or 27 so far, but I will go through this list and update it at some point soon. Yeah, really nice. Great vocals. Decent presence it seems in that video he'll be able to totally own the performance if you see what i mean he looked good the building that he was singing in was very beautiful too full orchestra it looked like and uh, as much as it built up i do wonder if the melody is the sort of thing that you're going to remember because i'm sitting here now and i've sort of already forgotten how it goes which isn't great um, juries should love it. They should vote for it uh, in pretty substantial numbers. As for the public, I'm not entirely sure. But let me know what you think. Uh, the comments here on the music video, very, very positive, it must be said. Very positive. Uh, pretty song, good luck. This song fits him the most. Those long notes are going to sound so good live. Yeah. He was absolutely pouring his heart out in that performance. I think it's a very personal song for him. And we wish him well, and North Macedonia too. That's it for this particular video. But I'll be back at some point soon with another Eurovision 2021 related video. North Macedonia is off the list. So unless I've made a mistake with this particular list I have on my whiteboard, it's Sweden, Georgia, Malta, Iceland, Azerbaijan, Poland and Latvia to go. Malta's the one to keep an eye on. We know barely anything about the Maltese entry. Sweden absolutely could win this year's contest comfortably, if you ask me, depending on the song that they select in Melfest. Georgia, sort of a bluesy rock song, I think. Iceland, I think the song was leaked online. I've heard five seconds of this supposed song. I wasn't that impressed. Azerbaijan, there is a teaser online, but you can't really judge. Uh, Poland, who knows? And Latvia, no doubt something up-tempo. That's it. Until next time, hopefully the quality wasn't too bad. Well done, North Macedonia. About a 6 out of 10 at the very least. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.